So it has been a full day for us. We are deep in the apple orchard right now on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We just finished day number three. I am Randy, this is Julie. We want you to travel with us as we take four days to explore the beautiful Blue Ridge Parkway. Thanks so much for watching. As we get rolling, just a reminder that our four day itinerary is listed in the description below. Welcome to the Appalachian, or as the locals say, Appalachian Mountains. So we are starting our day at one of the sites that's just off the Blue Ridge Parkway. This is in Blowing Rock, North Carolina, and the place is called the Blowing Rock. And by the way, they do charge you admission for this one. We'll start off with the Overlook Trail. Yeah, this is a pretty good view. This is where you wanted to be at sunrise. <laughs> Could you imagine? Look at what you would see. So this place was on Ripley's, believe it or not, because it's actually a place where the snow falls upward. The reason for that strange phenomena is that there's a flume of northwest wind that blows through the gorge and forces things upward. So where do you want to visit? You want to visit the museum or uh, the cat that eats a lot of food? The cat wants you to come inside. Look, <laughs> he's inviting you in. <laughs> So there's really not a lot to see here. It's not that big. There's a few hiking trails that are relatively short. And there's also a museum and a snack stand. But it's a nice spot to stop off if you have about an hour or two yeah. that you want to enjoy a unique location. And the views, wonderful views. Can't beat the views. The Blue Ridge Parkway is a literal cross-section of an entire culture, from the indigenous history to the European settlement. It's a land of legends like Daniel Boone and the heartache as it worked its way through poverty in a civil war. The road still speaks to us today through its sights, its smells, its tastes, and its sounds. When I made this itinerary, I really tried to stay with places that are on the Blue Ridge Parkway but sometimes you have to make some exceptions because there's cool stops just right off the road. One example was where we just were at Blowing Rock. And the other one is this. So here we are at the Mast General Store. And I'm told this is the original one. Legend has it that the land for this store was acquired through a trade in the late 1700s. The cost, a trained dog, working rifle, and a sheepskin. I'm gonna get one of these toasted Carolina pecan. Is that gonna be all for you, man? That's it, thank you. Oh, okay. How much a gallon back then? Nine cents, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> So every once in a while, you need to take a shortcut. And this is an interesting one, isn't it? It's not my favorite. We are just going up the side of a mountain, this is bad. trying to cut our way back to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Anyways, watch out for that huge pothole and don't drive off the ledge on your right and you're good. All right, a little change of drivers here. And we are definitely going uphill all the way. What's interesting is this is a rough road, but the GPS actually took us on this road. So it can't be all that bad, but we're gaining some significant elevation and this should be connecting to the Blue Ridge Parkway in about another mile. So this is the Green Mountain Overlook. Probably some of the best colors we've seen on the entire parkway, wouldn't you say? Yeah. 
So bright. So we're at Rough Ridge Overlook right now. This will be stop number four for us. Oh, wow. Did you see those fighter jets? It says on the map, mile post, I think 302.9. It seems to me a little further north than that, but uh, it is packed with people. So unlike what we experienced yesterday. I mean, look at all these cars, but I got a theory why there's so many cars at this particular spot. I'll share it with you in a minute. This is really a fantastic trail. You walk up about a third of a mile, uh, moderate incline, and then you get to these rocky ledges that are overlooking the valley and able to see the mountains back off in the distance. Just some great photo ops. By the way, too, the colors are probably the best we've seen so far, um, considering our three days in the Blue Ridge Parkway right here at this location. So the boardwalk ends, but you want to keep going, go by another quarter mile or so, and you have that amazing rock outcropping for some of the most photogenic shots. But the trail continues. I don't know what's up ahead. We're gonna keep hiking. Let's go. So what do you think about that trail? That was one of my favorites by far. Just the length, the terrain, everything. It was wonderful. But we all want to know about your theory. Oh, my theory, yeah. Why are there so many people here? <laughs> yes. Because even though we're on the Blue Ridge Parkway, we're just outside of Boone, North Carolina. So these are not Blue Ridge travelers. These are Boone, North Carolina. I think it's a good theory. Want to get out for the day. Boone is great. I love Boone. The seven mile Lynn Cove Viaduct was completed in 1987 and it connected the entire Blue Ridge Parkway. Considering the landowners, environment, and terrain, its completion is considered an engineering marvel. Well, if we had some more time, this is one I definitely would like to hit. This is Grandfather Mountain. You could drive to the top, or better yet, you can climb all the way up. About two miles away, 20 minutes to get there, off the Blue Ridge Parkway though. So we're at our second to last stop today. This is Linville Falls, milepost 318, I believe. Uh, this is the Grand Canyon, they say, of the Southern Appalachians. Uh, it's also, I understand, the deepest gorge east of the Grand Canyon itself. And we are blessed because this place is hopping with people and we got a spot someone just pulled out three places from the visitor center. So it's gonna be a good day today. Let's keep going. <laughs> So there's four overviews on this particular trail that we are taking. That one was Upper Falls, and if you come here, be prepared. It is packed with people. Unlike the first two days, if you're in that Boone, North Carolina area, there's a lot of folks out here, a lot of weekday warriors. So we're making our way to overlook number two. This is the chimney view. The orchard, which is over 100 years old, still grows apples, and it's also a cultural center. It celebrates the music, art, people, and beauty of the Blue Ridge Parkway. The parkway divided the orchard, and the southern half is the one that is still operative. Then the parkway came through. Okay, so the orchard was here first. Orchard was here first. Prior to the parkway. The parkway came through and um, carved right out of the middle of it. Oh, okay. The, the parkway said, well, we're going to increase the number of people that could come and visit. 
And they said, well, we need the land more than we need the Oh, visiting. that makes sense. Okay, but sure. They shipped as many as 50,000 bushels of apples uh, from here per at one time, in one year. In one year? In one year. 50,000 bushels. They are... Uh, Done for this season. Yeah. 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 Picked right. out, and they're not unhappy about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank sure, you very much. Sure. Sure, an apple orchard minus the apples. There's not one single apple on any of these thousands of trees or on the ground around them. <laughs> I've never been in an apple orchard <laughs> with trees that are barren without apples. In October. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think the last apple he said was sold last Tuesday. We missed him by a week. On these trips you got to really experience the culture i don't think it's appalachian food but i feel like we're way down south man we're in north carolina here we're at the pick and pig parlor <laughs> carolina barbecue chicken and ribs and live music or at least music you up for this one where you at there you are way back there you got some hesitation don't you why are you so far behind me there she is Oh, it's going to be good. Look at that. Wow. Uh, a lot of yeah, I think, we're, I think we're good. Maybe a bigger appetite I could use. What do you think? It looks delicious. We're starving. We haven't eaten much. I'm ready for the live music behind you to start up pretty soon. That would be exciting. It's called the combo platter. That's a lot of food right there, isn't it? That's good. All right, let's eat. When it comes to the sauce, Julie, I go with the Mad Dog. I might regret it in about three hours from now, though. Okay, folks, thanks so much for traveling with us. We are in Newland, North Carolina. That's where we're sleeping tonight, and we're here at the Shady Lawn Lodge. Look at this place. Isn't this nice? We hope you enjoy day number three, day number one, day number two, and now day number three are all uploaded. Uh, stay tuned for day number four and our final day as we finish up in Cherokee, North Carolina at the Great Smoky Mountains and we finish our 469 miles on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember, always room for you on every national park adventure. Take care.